Hey, it's Brett with Lahan Home Team and PRB. And I'm Jennifer. And in this video, we are going to show you some of Orlando's best suburbs to live in. That's right. Some of the top rated places. We're going to show you what you can do when you visit there. So come join us on this tour. Claremont is just 22 miles west of Orlando. The city is known for its gentle sloping hills, which is quite unusual for Florida. There are lots of local shops and restaurants in the historic downtown Claremont. Every Sunday from 9 to 2 is a farmer's market. The Claremont Historic Village Museum is also on Lake Mineola and offers visitors tours of historical buildings and to learn about the history of Claremont. Hey guys, we're here in front of the House of Presidents Hall of Fame. Yeah, well, it's a cool museum here in Claremont where you can look at wax figures and get a tour of the history of the United States presidents. So come check it out. The President's Hall of Fame displays the history of the United States president. Here you will find wax figures that include past presidents, first lady gowns, and historical memorabilia. Check out the White House replica and its intricate design. The Citrus Tower was built in 1956, boasts a height of 226 feet. Check out the views. Hey guys, we're up here at the top of the tower, and uh, it's a pretty beautiful view. You have to check it out. Lake Nona is one of the fastest growing communities in Orlando. It has a population of over 50,000 and continues to grow. Laureate Park is a large neighborhood located in Lake Nona. It consists of bungalows, cottages, townhomes. They are still building in this community, so there is still room to grow. Inside Laureate Park is Nona Adventure Park which features an amazing climbing tower. Also, you will find wakeboarding along with a water obstacle course. Fun for the entire family. Lake Nona Town Center. The Lake Nona Town Center offers dining, shopping, and entertainment. Every Saturday from 11 to 3 is the Lake Nona Farmer's Market, where you will find local vendors with a variety of items to choose from. Across the street from the town center is Boxy Park. They have a stage for live performances, which you will find at Friday's Art After Dark. The stage comes alive on the weekend. You will also find permanent food trucks at Boxy Park, where you can enjoy drinks and food while listening to the band. You definitely want to check this place out. Winter Garden has a population of just under 35,000 and meeting home values around 350,000. Every Saturday from 9 to 2, there's a farmer's market 
And on the third Saturday of the month from 4 to 8 is the Cruise and Car Show. We have been to that show and love it. The West Orange Trail also runs through the downtown and spans 22 miles. In the heart of Winter Garden is the Heritage Museum, which features displays on the history of West Orange County and the influence of the railroad on Florida progress. Hey guys, if you get a chance to come to Winter Garden, you've got to check out the Plant Street Market. Yeah, it's got the greatest vendors, a brewery, uh, aged steak, sushi, tea, everything. And a butcher with amazing aged steaks. I said that. Plant Street Market is like a permanent farmer's market that features over 20 vendors and is open seven days a week and includes the Crooked Can Brewery Company. Head over to Antiquities, where you can enjoy a variety of different teas, both caffeinated and decaf. You can also enjoy some fresh brewed coffee right across from the teas and some fresh baked bread. The Crooked Can Brewing Company is a micro brewery with a tap and tasting room. You can also book brewery tours. Oviedo has a population of a little over 40,000 and median home values just under 350,000. At Oviedo on the Park, you can take a walk around Center Lake or even rent a swan boat. They also have movie night at the park. In this field is where everyone would sit and watch the movie. There are concession stands as well for everyone to enjoy. At Oviedo on the Park, you will find several restaurants, along with a nice cafe. There are also apartments and townhomes that you can rent within walking distance to dining. Hey guys, we're here at Black Hammock. Here you'll find a gift shop, a restaurant, and airboat rides. So come with us, because we're about to get on one. Let's go. Maitland is about 15 minutes from downtown Orlando and is one of the oldest incorporated suburbans in Central Florida. You will find some gorgeous homes here in Maitland and currently the median home price is $410,000. You will also find some top rated schools in this area. Hey guys, we're here in Maitland at the Enzian Theater, Independent Enzian Theater. This is a venue where you can eat, drink, and watch a film. It's a very popular place here in Maitland. Yeah, check it out, nzn.org. Enzian is a single screen cinema cafe and home of the Florida Film Festival. NZN is also a nonprofit community supported organization. You can sign up to be a member of this organization. The Maitland Art Center, which was founded as an art colony in 1937 by the artist Andre Smith. Here you will find contemporary art exhibits. 
They also offer residency programs at the center. The Maitland Historical Museum showcases the history of Maitland and how it parallels the American experience. One of my favorite parts of the museum is the Telephone Museum. Here, you can immerse yourself in the history of the telephone. You can try out the switchboard station and see how telephones changed over time. We'd like to be your real estate resource for the Orlando area. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us at that number. And if you're enjoying our videos, please like and subscribe to our channel.